When it comes to network security, your best defense is a good offense. Attackers don't sleep or take days off. They're testing your defenses 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. If you wanna get ahead, you have to think like the enemy and literally hack yourself before the bad guys do it to you. That's right, I said hack yourself. But how does that work? How can you do it safely without compromising your network or tools? How can you fix the issues that you find? Well, if you got a few minutes, stay tuned for a crash course on breach and attack simulation and why it might just be the best network security tool you've never heard of. So why am I suggesting that you hack yourself? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Despite advancements in security, network breaches are occurring at an ever increasing rate and severity. Yet, despite the sophisticated range of exploits attackers can employ, they often opt for the path of least resistance. In fact, according to one recent report, nearly half of all network breaches stem from human error, system glitches, and misconfigurations. Granted, this shouldn't be much of a surprise. Enterprise security teams are diligent, but an attacker only needs to be successful once to jeopardize your entire network. And with a steady stream of new patches, updates, and new releases, there's ample opportunity for new vulnerabilities to emerge. That also means, unfortunately, there's ample opportunity for attackers to exploit them. In an effort to get ahead of these kinds of issues, many security teams have started attacking themselves with breach and attack simulation tools, which you'll sometimes see abbreviated to BAS or just BAS for short. What's cool about these tools is that they enable you to simulate a wide array of attacks right on your production network without any risk to your data, applications, or users. They accomplish this by sending attacks from a dark cloud-like entity to various software agent-based endpoints across your entire network. So whether you're looking to emulate MITRE attack techniques, advanced persistent threats, or the latest malware, spear phishing, or data exfiltration campaigns, breach and attack simulation tools give you a chance to test your own network defenses before they face the real thing. So what's the upshot to all of this? Well, that's easy. It's consistent, automated, and repeatable. Unlike penetration testing, for example, BAS tools aren't limited to a single point in time. After all, security is a constantly moving target. So why wouldn't you want to continuously evaluate your security stack to prove that you're safe from emerging misconfigurations, threats, and zero-day vulnerabilities? Granted, knowing is only half the battle. If you really want to improve your security and strengthen your network fortifications, you have to take action upon the results that you find. And that's where certain BAS tools really prove their worth. Every tool on the market is gonna tell you which attacks your security tools are able to block and which ones got through. However, certain tools, such as Shameless Plug, Keysight's very own threat simulator, go a step further and provide you with step-by-step -step instructions to fix whatever vulnerabilities you find. Now, whether that's simply closing a port, patching a tool, or even adding a new tool to, to your security stack, product-specific remediations like these should be considered an essential component of any breach and attack simulation tool that you evaluate. Security is a lot of things, but let's face it, it's never static. New threats, exploits, and attacks and vulnerabilities pop up every hour of every day. And rest assured, if you aren't testing your own tools against these kinds of things, attackers most certainly are. That's why it's so important to look for tools that are backed by a continuous threat intelligence feed and implement real, stateful attacks rather than just simplistic PCAP replays. For example, our very own threat simulator is continuously updated with real, stateful attacks by our own in-house application and threat intelligence teams. Now, these folks are the unsung heroes behind all of our security tools maintaining a database of more than 50 million known threats and operating a global network of honeypots to identify new and emerging attack vectors around the clock. But enough about us. If I can leave you with one takeaway today, it's this. Your network's best defense is a good offense. And breach and attack simulation tools are an excellent way to stay ahead of attackers and protect yourself against an ever-changing threat landscape. Now, I'm afraid it's all the time I have for you today, but fear not. If you'd like to learn just a little bit more, be sure to check out our very own breach and attack simulation tool, Threat Simulator, as well as the ebook I've linked in the description below, Breach and Attack Simulation for Dummies. And until next time, this is your old pal Packet Boy, signing off.